welcome to kpb coding hub in the last video we have seen first pattern how we can able to draw by using python okay in today's video we are going to talk about the next pattern pattern number 2 so in this video we are going to see how we can able to draw the same pattern the same pattern there is no change at all the only modification here is i don't want these middle characters i mean middle middle stars i don't want that means i want to print a pattern in this style this is nothing but my requirement so how we can able to do the modification in the previous program to get this particular result okay let us see how you can able to do that the program is the same whatever program we have taken for the previous same program you need to take but a small modification is required what is that modification for each i value in the range of 1 comma 7 total six times this loop is going to run and even for j in the range of 1 to 7 for every six times this loop is also going to execute six times six into six so 36 stars it is going to print so what we have done in the previous example we have printed star followed by i mean end is equal to you have taken the space once if you complete innermost loop then we are printing an empty line this is the program what we have done in the previous right let us execute this in this sir please observe carefully my requirement is i want to keep this particular star that means what it is in the first row i want to keep this particular row what is this row one two three four five six this one will become sixth row so i want to keep this i value is equal to one and the value of i is equal to six in these cases i want to print star what about column values here this is the first column and this is the sixth column so that means column values are represented by using j if j is equal to one and j is equal to six in these four cases sir we need to print a star else that means if these cases are not satisfied i want to print an empty space this is the concept of what we have to get sir so when i is equal to one it will print that row when j is equal to one it will print that column when j is equal to six sorry j is equal to six it will print this column and when i is equal to six it will print this column that's all we are going to get a star i mean we are going to print all the stars in this particular shape sir let us cross check how it is going to work already we have program here this statement we have to repeat in the place of star i am taking space when it is going to execute if your i is equal to one then i am going to print star just i am checking only for top row otherwise i am going to print an empty space now let us check is it going to work for first row or not yes i want to repeat this for last row or i is equal to six it will repeat for last row yes first row got printed last row also got printed now what we have to do i am going to take j is equal to one first column it will print have you observed first column we got last column also i want that means j is equal to six now you can able to see we got a full-fledged star okay in this case in this case if you replace this 7 with 11 that means i want to print 10 stars okay i want to print 10 by 10 now see what will happen if we are running we are going to get a full-fledged square so only the borders are filled with the stars in the middle we don't have any stars okay this is nothing but what we have in this example a simple piece of code that we have here okay 
so rest of the things that is still there are few more patterns are there that we will discuss in our next video okay remaining patterns we will cover in our next video okay so thank you please subscribe to our channel kpb coding hub okay thank you